I'm Stacey Sherman, and you're watching The A-List. With me today is Ms. Laura Zuarte, evening anchor for WGM News. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, to start off, have you always wanted to work in news? Uh, I've always wanted to work in journalism or writing. I wouldn't say I've always wanted to work in news. When I was in high school, I actually had a class very similar to this one. Mm -hmm. uh, not as nice, though, because this looks great, uh, the, the facilities that you're using here. But we did have a small TV production class, so I was a little bit interested in, in news then. And I was also editor of my paper uh, in high school. When I went to college, I decided I wanted to do uh, public relations and advertising, so I started working at an advertising agency my junior and senior year college. And my boss said, well, if you're serious about doing PR, you should try to do an internship at a TV station. That way you learn how to pitch stories to mm -hmm. them, what they're looking for. It'll be a, a nice, a, a nice um, something nice to do as to fulfill your resume. So um, I went and did the internship and really liked it. And it turns out that that year they lost a reporter or somebody else was pregnant. And so they asked me to fill in for the summer and freelance report. And I did it, really liked it. And then from there, I stuck to it and kept doing it and then just worked in radio and other, uh, other TV jobs and kind of fell into it that way. That's pretty fortunate mm -hmm. that you got all those opportunities. Yeah, yeah. So what really first got you interested in wanting to pursue this major over anything else? Um, I just really liked writing. I was pretty good at it. Um, mm -hmm. I'd say English was probably one of my better subjects in high school and literature. And um, I liked the whole idea of being a part of history and being there for the big events. So um, I think that was the main thing that got me interested in news. And when you started working, you know, in the outside world from mm -hmm. school, what was your first job, like actual job in My news? My first yeah. job in news. So um, when I was in college, I did that internship at Telemundo here mm -hmm. in Chicago. Um, and it was in Spanish. So that was my first job where I started turning stories and, and being on air. Um, then from there, I worked in radio for about a year and then went to Peoria, Illinois. Worked for a little station oh, there. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> then went to Indianapolis, then went to Detroit, and then came here. So that's it's nice. been kind of a long journey, but I enjoyed it. And through all of that, how did you end up at WGN? Um, I think just experience and moving up and, you know, going to these different markets. Um, the mm -hmm. way TV news works is they break it down into the size of a city and its market size. So for example, I was in Peoria, which was market 106, mm -hmm. and there are about 250 markets. Uh, Indianapolis was market 25, Chicago was market three. So the lower oh. the number, the bigger the city, the bigger the market, the more exposure. That's so you just kind of work your way up until yeah. you get to where you want to be. Some people want to be in New York, I wanted to be in Chicago, so. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and how was your experience at working in WGN? Do you like the workplace and your co-workers? Oh, yeah. It's one of the best places to work because it's very much a family. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we're all friends. We'll um, sometimes we'll do beer night on Thursday nights. Like we all That's really enjoy. <laughs> we all enjoy working together, and it's just a great family place. Um, they're very good to us and we really we really can't complain it's my out of all the stations i've worked at i think that's definitely my favorite i think it's really important to have like a family away from home you know yeah where you can go to your workplace and actually enjoy being around everyone yeah and news is so loose mm -hmm. um to where it, you might be working at in a corporate setting and it's a little bit more professional and right. more um, stuffy. Yeah. Whereas news, I mean, sometimes we're screaming down the newsroom, hey, can you get me this or did you hear? So it's a very, um, you really build a friendship with these people. And what's your favorite stories to cover, like types of stories? My favorite stories, um, I think may, I've normally been a general assignment, so a crime reporter. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd say my favorite stories are ones where we get to make a difference, where you feel like you're actually doing something that's benefiting either a family or an individual. So for example, a couple of weeks ago, I did a story on a family whose, um, the 16 year old had been shot a few years ago, was paralyzed. Um, they had a van that they used to get him around. That van was stolen. Oh. And so the family called us. We did the initial story on the stolen van. 
and then uh, people started calling in and saying that they wanted to help. I was able to get a, a dealership to donate a van to the family um, to help them really out. Nice. So that felt really great yeah. to see their reaction and they were so happy. And so, I mean, those are kind of the feel good stories that, that everybody enjoys, I think. And then you can get something mm -hmm. out of doing, yeah. doing something. Um, unforgettable stories, like stories that really touched your heart besides that one? Any that you uh, just can't God, forget there's about? There's so many of them. Um, I'll tell you one. When I was in Peoria, I met a 19-year-old uh, man who needed a heart transplant. And we started following him for about eight months and uh, worked with the hospital so that when he was able to get his transplant, they called us immediately. So we mm -hmm. were in the operating room while he was getting his transplant. Oh. We followed him through his journey of what it was like for him, uh, his recovery. Um, so that was really, I think, really touching. And, and, and to see a family come together like that, I, I really liked being a part of it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. um, we have some B-roll. Of okay. you skydiving? Ooh, so okay. That might be interesting to watch. Ah, can we see it? Let's see what you've I got. Think we will soon. <laughs> I was actually looking for something uh -huh. on WGN's website and I found this. That's actually one of the more fun stories that I've had a chance to do. Uh, that was last summer. The Air and Water Show comes to Chicago every mm -hmm. year. And so one of the things that they do is uh, the Golden Knights, which is the um, Army parachute team they'll take three or four like celebrities, I guess, TV people uh, up on these uh, jumps, on a tandem jump. And so that year they asked me to do it and I was so nervous, but I thought, you know what? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Am I ever gonna be any safer than with a golden knight? I mean, really, come on. So I decided to do it. Um, I didn't throw up or anything, so I was fine, but I was very, very nervous and it was the best experience. Once after the initial jump, because that was the most, uh, nerve-wracking part just like actually jumping out of the plane but once you're imagine. out it's so beautiful and it's so peaceful out there and you just get such a beautiful view of Chicago because we land on North Avenue Beach oh, so you get to see all of the Chicago skyline the lake I mean it's it was really once in a lifetime it was it was we beautiful definitely do it again then. Um, if, it, if the opportunity came my way, I would do it again. I wouldn't seek it out, but I would, yeah. if it was offered, I would do it again. Were your coworkers really jealous of you that you got to do that? No, they thought they? I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they thought I was crazy, so. But I bet you they would do it too if they were offered the opportunity. Sure mm -hmm. I can just imagine Tom Skilling. <laughs> that would be a good one, that would be a good one. Um, I read that you won some awards for mm -hmm. shoots and yeah. productions. Um, I'll tell you about a few of them. Um, actually, my first uh, Emmy Award was in Indianapolis. Um, I was able to put together a show called um, Hoy in Dia, which catered to the Latino community in Indiana. So it highlighted some of the events, um, some of the people that were making a difference in that community. And I was able to host, produce, um, write the show. I mean, work. I did all of it. Um, other than shoot it and direct yeah. it and those ki kinds of things. But in terms of putting it together, um, I was uh, the person behind it. So that was, I won an Emmy for that show, for that public affairs show. Then from there, um, when I went to Detroit, I won another award for a story um, called Unlicensed and Serving. And it was about um, these underground restaurants popping up um, in one specific community mm -hmm. and draining the restaurants who are paying taxes and have a legitimate restaurant in place and so these restaurants were losing a lot of money. Yeah. Um, so that was another one. And then just recently um, I won an award for um, some stories that we did for Hispanic Heritage Month, also an Emmy. Um, so stuff like that. And then, you know, just uh, I've been recognized throughout the community um, for different events or different uh, help that I've been able to offer that community. So if you had to um, say that you preferred working for one over the other, do you think you prefer working for criminal type stories or working on um, Hispanic type stories? Um, I mean, I think... Because it seems like you enjoy both. Yeah, no, I, I definitely do. It, it's a different, I guess, dynamic for both of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we do things with the Latino community, it's more uh, public affairs oriented and it's more this is how you can help, this is mm -hmm. what, what's being done, and here are the people that are making a difference. Uh, and then general assignment are, you know, unfortunately you do a lot of crime stories and those aren't always 
the most uh, rewarding. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you have Maybe to knock dangerous. on someone's door who right. just lost a son or a mother or, you know, that's, nobody likes that. Um, no. Even if you've been doing it for a long time, it's, you don't enjoy it. It's not easy. Um, but it's part of the job. I mean, every job that you do, there are going to be aspects of it that you're not going to like. And I'd say that's probably one of them. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show Thank today. You. With you yeah. Thank you again for joining. Thank you for having me. I'm Stacia Sherman, and this is The A-List. Thanks for watching.